All right, so this is gonna be a quick one. All I'm gonna do is set up a health bar and then make it so that it can take damage. And that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. How do I wanna start this? Uh, let's just go into... Uh, let's go into the HUD first and we'll go into WB UI and then we'll just create the um, the health bar which is just a progress bar so let me look up progress bar here and I'm just gonna drag this here and we're gonna just adjust it to whatever length you want doesn't really matter anchor it to the bottom left and Go up, just grab the top little flower petal and then the side little flower petals to put exactly where you want it in the corner. And I'm gonna mess with this in a second. So I'm gonna leave this up. So I'm gonna compile, save this. I'm actually gonna rename this. Let's rename it to like health. Uh, okay, health. Okay, so we have a health bar and now we actually want to set up the health itself. So let me go into my third person character here. Prince, third person character. And I guess we'll just put it right here. So this is where we're going to want the health to be. So let me just grab a variable here. Let me create a variable. We're just gonna have health and max health, kind of like what we did with the enemy. I don't exactly remember exactly what I did for that, so this might be slightly different. I, mean, I guess I could just go look at it. We're just gonna go with this. All right, so health and max health. So all I need to do was to create those two variables for now. And let me go back into here and we're gonna go into the graph. Sorry, designer. I need to create a binding for this. So let me drop this down and click create binding for the percent because this percent is going to affect how much health it is. Oh, that is blue. Let's change that to red. Red looks more healthish. So if I drag this, this is going to be the current percent that it's going to be um, when it has full health versus when it's taking damage. So if we click on the bind, create binding, and this is going to be getting the health percent. So I'm just going to cast it to third person character. So we can grab the variables we just created, get player character for this. And then you want to get, uh, let's say max health. We need to get both of them, but let's get max health first. And then get health. And I actually wanna flip these around. I wanna take the health divided by the max health, and that'll get you the decimal percent. So I just put that in there, and I think that should work, because it takes it out of one. Oh, well, I didn't set it to 100. Max health, I'm gonna set to 100 for now. You can change that later, or you can change it now. Uh, let's see, change them both to 100, so this should be fully red. Yeah, fully red. So, now that we have that, we want to cause an actual damage system, right? So, let me get event any damage. Any damage. And we get the health. 
So if we have the health here, this is at 100. You're gonna take the health and you're gonna subtract it by the damage, and that's going to be setting the new health. Let me just drag this off under here and then hit set health here. So you're gonna be setting the new health here. Mm, as long as it's greater than zero. I don't know if this branch is necessary, but because I, I think I'm just going to make it so it like destroys your actor after it takes a certain amount of damage, but whatever. There's just a condition that makes sure that its health is greater than zero. But if it is not greater than zero, so if this is... less than less than or equal to if this is less than or equal to zero if that is true branch not true branch well it is true but branch if I do that then if that's true then it's going to destroy actor but I kind of want to spawn an emitter at the location at the same time, kind of like what I did with the uh, enemy. I'm just going to spawn a little emitter. So I don't remember what it's like explosion, explosion. Uh, I'm going to double the scale. I think I did that for the enemy. Kind of remember that. And for the location, if I grab the mesh here, this can be the location of the emitter. Uh, get world location. And there we go. Anything else with this? That should be fine. Super easy, super simple. And then after that, I'm just gonna destroy the actor. And it's going to be self. I think that should be fun. So after that, all we need to do is we need to have it apply damage somehow. Uh, that is going to go in a different video. I just wanted to make a super simple health system right now. But I, I gotta show that this works, right? Or I gotta test it at least. So let me get a keyboard. I might as well just use one. On pressed, apply damage. Damage actor. Get reference to self. And like apply like 10 damage. And that should be it, I think. So let me compile, save this, and if I hit play and then I hit one, I take damage. And then if I take one all the way down to zero, I blow up and my actor is destroyed. And that is all I wanted to cover for this video. Super short, just wanted to show this off or show you this or whatever. Bye.